the movie starts off with a driver named Baby sitting in the car. He's waiting in the front of the bank with Griffin, Buddy and his wife Darling. Leaving Baby in the car, the three of them rob the whole bank. Whereas Baby is carefree, chilling and listening to songs. The three of them come back and Baby along with those three escape from the police in a speeding car. Baby saves the whole situation with his outstanding driving skills. Then Baby and the three of them meet Doc, he's the mastermind behind their crimes. And he distributes the money amongst them. Baby has a greater share in money because of his good driving skills. Griffin objects to it, but Doc thinks that Baby deserves the money because of his driving skills. Everyone makes fun of him for being the silent one, but Baby doesn't answer them in return. Doc takes him to the parking lot and takes some money from his share. Because six years back, Baby had unknowingly stolen Doc's car that had his stolen goods in it. And Baby had made a deal with him, that he'll give his share of the money back to Doc, whenever he gets the share after the crime. So that it will pay off his debt, Baby then reminds Doc that according to the deal, only one last job is left. He will leave that job after the last undertaking. Doc agrees to him and leaves from there. Baby comes back home and hides the left out money after giving it to Doc. There's already some money kept there, which means Baby is saving up for a good life. Then Baby composes a song, using Doc's conversation in it. Which is his usual habit. And he puts it amongst her mom's cassettes. He then goes over to his adoptive dad Joseph. He's deaf and wheelchair bound. He's worried about Baby and he asks him to leave his job. Baby tells him through signs that soon he'd be free. Baby meets Deborah at a restaurant. She's also into music like him. And Baby is so much impressed by her passion. Baby is happily singing Deborah's song to his dad after returning from the restaurant. He gets a call from Doc, who asks him to come to the hideout place tomorrow. He goes there and Doc introduces him to his new crewmates, Eddie, JD and Bats. They ask the reason for his constant song listening. Doc says that he was in an accident along with his parents. His parents died in it, but he retained a disease named tinnitus since then. He hears a continuous beep sound and he can escape from this beep sound by listening to songs. Everyone makes fun of him but Doc stops them and shares the reason behind him for working here. Doc asks them to pay attention to their made out plan, which is displayed on the map, but Bats gets angry over Baby for enjoying his music. Bats says that Baby hasn't heard the plan, but Baby tells the plan just exactly how Doc was briefed. Everyone's is just amazed, Doc sends them and Baby takes the three of them to the bank. Baby doesn't like Bats because he has killed the security guard while robbing the bank. As a result, a man follows them and tries shooting them, Bats tries to kill that man aiming at him but Baby saves that guy by overspeeding the car. When they are stuck in the traffic, they snatch a car from a woman aiming the gun at her. They get into that car and perceive that JD has left his gun in the car that they just replaced. JD and Bats fight over it and Bats shoots JD to death. Baby not knowing about JD's death brings coffee for them, but Bats happily tells him that JD is dead. Baby doesn't give any answer to him. Shares are distributed by Doc, and Baby says his last goodbye, as he has completed his last job. He has paid off all his debts to Doc. Doc then asks him to dispose the car which has JD's corpse in it. Baby takes that car to the car crusher. While he was going back home, he remembers memories of his mom and dad, as he was gifted an iPod by his parents. Baby used that iPod when his parents were fighting. And one day while they were fighting as usual in their car, they face an accident. He happily meets Deborah and asks her for a date as he is out of the job now. She asks him about his job and Baby says that he had completed his contract. They start spending time with each other and Baby shows the song to Deborah that he has written for her. Baby tells her that he was a driver before and Deborah starts liking him. After going home Baby tells Joseph about his job resignation, and Joseph informs him about a job vacancy at a pizza restaurant. He applies there and gets a job as a delivery guy, he's pretty happy with the new job. While Baby is on a date with Deborah, he sees Doc there. Doc calls Baby, Baby excuses himself to meet Doc. 
Doc offers him his job back again as he is considered lucky, but Baby denies his offer. Doc then threatens him of killing his closed ones, including his girlfriend Deborah. With fear lingering in mind Baby agrees to work with Doc again. Instantly Baby takes Deborah from there and Deborah asks him why are you so panicked? But Baby doesn't say anything to that and thanks her, for accompanying her into his life. Deborah praises him and leaves from there. The next morning, Doc takes Baby to a post office. Doc says that the post office has never been robbed and it has so much money in it, so they have to rob it this time. Doc sends Baby into the post office to get the info about the staff and cameras. There he meets the manager and she treats him well. Now they go to their hideout place, where Doc briefs the plan to Buddy, Bats and Darling. He says that there is a $250 slip in a box and they should bring it at any cost. Darling would go first and Buddy would take her at gunpoint. They will create a distraction for Bats to get the boxes out, their baby would be waiting for them and they have to spend the night here. Doc sends Buddy, Darling and Bats to get the weapons from the dealer. Bats start shooting at the dealers, and they also retaliate by shooting. They kill everyone, but Buddy and Darling get angry over Bats. Bats says that those dealers were all undercover officers. Bats recognized them because he was once arrested. While Baby is taking them back to hideout place suddenly Bats asks to pull over at a restaurant where Deborah works. Deborah is shocked to see Baby there, but Baby ignores her. When they have done eating, Bats tries to kill Deborah but Baby saves her. He pays the bill and leaves her a note, which mentions her to meet him at 2. When they are back at the hideout place Doc is angry over Bats for killing those men. Because they were all his associates. He then orders them to keep themselves away from the police. Bats says that no one is left to inform the police. Doc then asks Baby for advice regarding the robbery of the post office. Baby positively responds to the robbery of the post office. Baby has recorded their conversation on iPod. Buddy and Bats follow him when he's leaving from there. They play Baby's recorded audio and ask the reason for recording it, Baby shares his habit with them. They bring all of his cassettes from his home, Doc doesn't believe him and beats him for that. He then plays the cassettes that are songs actually. Doc forgives him and takes him back into his plan. Whereas Deborah keeps waiting for Baby. Baby takes Bats, Buddy and Darling to the post office the next day. Baby is waiting outside as planned. Baby sees the manager going in and warns her not to go inside. She understands and brings guards there. Buddy, Bats and Darling then get back in the car with boxes. Bats kills the guard, Baby goes into shock after seeing that and fails to start the car in time. They force him to start the car. Baby gets frustrated with Bats and hits the car straight into the truck. The rod on the truck hits Bat's neck and he dies instantly. Buddy gets angry over him and the police arrive there. They run from the police on foot and Baby takes a car from the parking lot. While the police was following him, Darling gets angry over him and starts shooting at the police. Darling gets bullet shots and she dies there itself. Buddy gets sad and he starts firing at Baby's car. Baby saves himself and leaves, but his iPod is left there on the street. He continuously hears the beeping. He then snatches a car from a lady on the highway. But he apologizes to her and leaves. He then goes over to his home and takes Joseph to a shelter. He leaves his saved up money for him with a recording that can help in meeting his needs. He then goes to Deborah's workplace. Buddy is there already who threatens baby of killing Deborah. He takes Deborah and runs from there and goes straight to Doc. He offers to trade a box from the office with her mom's tape and Doc agrees. Baby also asks for his help. Doc denies it at first but agrees when he sees Deborah. He hands them some money and shows them the way out, but three officers start attacking them. Doc saves them, but then Buddy arrives there and kills Doc. Buddy is following Baby and he finally corners him. Buddy shoots at him and the bullet goes past his ear. Baby goes deaf for a moment and Deborah hits Buddy. Baby then shoots Buddy and kills him. Later they both run away from there. They drive till morning. Police completely surround them, Baby has no choice, he has to surrender. Baby's trial starts. Joseph, 
Deborah and every person whom baby had helped are testifying for him. They say that he was forced to.